Inna laha wa malaikatahu yu saluna ala nabi Ya ayu aladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad Al-Fatihi lima uglika wa katimi lima sabaka nasir al-haqi bahaq Wal-hadi ila sirataka mustaqim Wa ala alihi haqa qadrihi wa miqdar al-lazim Allahumma bi haqi wa jilayta ala al-karimi Salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa sabihi wa kadimihi wa thabitli Kaira al-imani wa kaira al-islami wa kaira al-islani Wa huba la itala wa huba rasulihi Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi anfasul makhlukati Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi ashara mawjudati Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi huruf ilohi wa da'awati Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi al-bidayati wa nihayati Min al-mawdumi wa mawjudi ila bahdi lahbadi Wa sallallahu ala khayru kakihi Muhammad Wa alihi ajma'in. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You must see him. Alayhi salatu wa salam. You must see our beloved Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him eternally. Allah says in the Holy Quran, This is the book in which there is no doubt. For those who believe have Iman in the unseen. We believe in Muhammad the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with a strong faith that the Prophet is the Prophet of Allah and we can achieve Yaqeen by seeing him, certainty. Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Alayhi Salam has said, in the hadith, surely the one who has seen me has seen me. Surely the one who has seen me in a dream has seen me because the shaitan cannot take my form. And in the same hadith, he goes on to say, and the one who has seen me in a dream, inshallah, soon they will see me in the waking state. We must see our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One of my friends who was a sheikh once said to me years ago, he said, if I did not see the Prophet, والسلام, how would I know that I was a Muslim? You must see the Prophet Muhammad. If you are on this path of Tariqa, Tasawuf, the Sufi journey, we have all heard the three stages of Fana. Fanafi Sheikh, Fanafi Rasul, and ultimately Fanafi Allah. Extinction in the Sheikh, extinction in the Prophet, السلام, and extinction in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dalal dalalahu. It is the job of your Sheikh to take you to the Prophet Muhammad. والسلام. Let me say that again. Fanafi Sheikh, you find a spiritual guide, a teacher. That guide, his or her job is to put you in the divine proximity of Nur Muhammad وسلم, so that you can be visited by him وسلم, and see him. This is one of the greatest mercies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to see the beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in your night dream, ruhia, or vision. There are practices that the sheikhs have in all of the tariqat. Every tariqat has practices to see the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. Whichever tariqat you are in, whichever sheikh you are following, it is their job to put you on the pathway of Fanafi Rasul, extinction in the Prophet Muhammad 
alayhi salatu was salam. From my personal experience, as you journey, mastering the fard, mastering the basics of Islam, mastering as much as the sunnah as you can, as possible, doing the daily arwad and the weird and the zikrs that your sheikh is giving you, your love for the Prophet Muhammad salam, will become a burning flame inside of you. You should, inshallah, get to a point where you stop all other practices other than prayer on the Prophet wasallam. You will get to a yearning, speaking from experience, not from textbooks, you should get to a yearning from love for the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, that you firmly establish the niyat, the intention to draw close to him. Our Sheikh, Sheikh Ahmed Obama, Sheikh Ahmed Obama says if it's not in the Quran and it's not from Prophet Muhammad salam, it's not from him. You must follow the Quran and the Sunnah and the Tariqah of the Sheikh until you get to a point where you leave everything and focus on the Prophet Muhammad wasalam, through the verse in the Quran that says, Surely Allah and the angels send prayers on the Prophet. O oh, you who believe, send prayers on the Prophet in abundance. In Allah wa malaika to who you saluna la nabi. Ya ayu aladina amanu salu alayhi wa salimu tasliman. Surely Allah and the angels are sending prayers on the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have to think about this. Allah does not make five salats, Jalal Jalalahu. Allah does not fast in Ramadan, Jalal Jalalahu. Allah does not give the zakat, Jalal Jalalahu. Allah does not go to make hajj, Jalal Jalalahu. But in the Holy Quran, Allah himself revealed in the ayat, Inna Allah, surely Allah, wa malaikatihi, and the angels, you saluna ala nabi, Send prayers upon the Prophet. Now, if Allah Himself is doing prayers on the Prophet, then it would behoove you, behoove you, behoove you. To, that is a command in the Quran. O oh, you who believe, send prayers on the Prophet in abundance. I am asking all of you continue with your daily practices. Increase your love for the Prophet والسلام, and one sign that you are approaching Fanafi Rasul is the vision of the Prophet والسلام, in your dream. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad salatan tunati nabiha min jahmila lah wale wala fat wa takdeelin nabiha jamil hajat what to Tahir and Abiha mean to me, say yet? What are found Abiha in Daka Ahla Dadajat? What to believe in Abiha, Axel Gayat, mean to me, okay, that fill her yet with bad damamat in Naka Fena Kalmustazi imp. One of the best ways to see the Prophet Alay Salam is to follow his Sunnah, follow the Quran, follow your Sheikh and increase your salawat prayers on the Prophet. Sheikh Sufi Ba from Moorish Spain. Assalamu alaikum.